Disease non-battle injury, which includes a lot of the vector-borne diseases like malaria, dengue, uh, have historically had major impact uh, on military operations. Upwards of five times more troops lost to disease than the actual combat. This hasn't changed. The diseases are still with us, and we still deploy to those regions. So it still remains a threat for deployed forces. The Operational Entomology Training Course is a course designed for preventive medicine personnel of all services, and it is designed to teach students to develop a vector control pest management program in the field where none exists. The course is designed for a range of folks uh, from any of the services, but geared more towards preventive medicine specialties. Uh, within the Navy, that includes preventive medicine technicians, environmental health officers, entomologists, industrial hygienists, uh, really anyone with an interest and a likelihood of being part of a preventive medicine program in a deployed setting. Currently, the course is two weeks long, uh, one week primarily didactic classroom work. Uh, the second week is the field phase. The course takes place at the Navy and MLG Center of Excellence on Naval Air Station Jacksonville, and the field portion takes place at uh, Camp Blanding Joint Training Center, which is a National Guard training facility located about 45 minutes south of Naval Air Station Jacksonville. In the classroom, they focus on the fundamentals of vector-borne disease, the vectors themselves, uh, insecticides, insecticide application equipment, how to calculate the type of job they would be doing, uh, basically all the fundamentals of a preventive medicine program that they would be tasked to establish in a conflict or humanitarian operation. In the field, uh, the focus of the course really is hands-on. Everything from putting out surveillance equipment. So the mosquitoes are attracted to the CO2. They'll come in also for the light. There's a fan that's going to blow it down into our trap here. To uh, operating pest control equipment, to maintenance of pest control equipment in the field. Uh, we do calculate the job sites. There's a variety of different things. This is a real life scenario of what they would experience. This is not a square on a chalkboard. I mean, this is real life dealing with the tree line and different things. So um, they learn calculations, actual surveillance, um, identifying whatever we pick up, if we do pick something up, being able to identify that. The students learn how to set the surveillance traps to collect ticks and mosquitoes, and they also learn how to use the pesticide applicator equipment to give area-wide treatments of insecticides. They do learn spray techniques. Uh, there's a variety of different equipment that we use, a dry, variety of different pesticides um, that we have available to us, and how to calculate that up based on flow rate. All of that is, is valuable information. We could probably put some more. It really gives them the hands-on experience that they don't get in the classroom setting. It provides them with a lot of experience that they otherwise wouldn't have. So after you've collected the water, you're going to look to see if you can see any mosquito larvae. The students also learn how to set up a, a basic entomology laboratory in the field. Uh, you have to be able to identify the vectors and pests that you're looking at to control. In the laboratory portion of the class, we teach them how to identify um, vectors and pests and also um, show them the materials they need to be able to do that in the field. It's open to all DOD agencies. Uh, we do like to keep the class small. We're roughly targeting 15 students just to allow the students to be able to have direct hands-on. Uh, the majority of our students do have some preventive medicine or um, entomological background. I'm deployed to Kuwait and this training is helping me refresh some skills that I've already had and it's just going to help me once I get out there just go straight to work. I'm actually going to Kuwait next and we're actually going to be facing the same issues in Kuwait that we're going to be facing here. You may think of it as a desert habitat, but there's actually going to be mosquitoes, ticks, flies, all those pests are going to be in theater. So to use this equipment here is going to translate perfectly over to Kuwait. The uh, students attending the course, both officers and enlisted, will get credit within their official service record for the course. Yeah. Additionally, if they have previously been Category 8 pesticide applicator certified, they can get recertification during this course. They have that opportunity. This is the only course of its kind in the Navy, and for commands that, that have a preventive medicine requirement, both contingency and humanitarian assistance support, if they want their personnel to have hands-on experience prior to deployment, 
uh, this is where they have to come. The course is important because it provides real world hands-on training and setting up pest management vector control program and you just can't get that kind of training in the classroom. Sending troops into contingency or humanitarian operations can be inherently risky and it's our job to train personnel to mitigate that risk.